okay today we shall be talking about impulse response function that we shall be talking today and uh, impulse response function that we want to talk today what does mean by impulse response function what does it mean the impulse response function is a shock to a VAR system. So that is the definition of the impulse response function. Then the second issue is the impulse response identify the responsiveness of the dependent variable which is an endogenous variable in the VAR when a shock is put to the error term such as U1 and U2 at the equations given below. So this one is the also definition of meaning of impulse response function then we can define also in other way impulse response function is a unit shock is applied to each variable and see its effect on the VAR system what does mean by VAR? VAR means vector auto regressive. Vector auto regressive. It means VAR. V A R system. Okay, note the following VAR system model. So here uh, we have chosen. Uh, one VAR model you can see the first uh, first uh, model and it is the second model and the whole thing actually called VAR system the whole thing is called VAR system and here you can see for the first one money is the dependent variable and consumption with lag t minus 1 is independent variable and money t minus i is also uh, independent variable money with lag t minus i that means uh, that means some lag will be there lag period t minus i means lag period so those lag period period we shall be using here in this particular var model and consumptions is the another variable which is also endogenous variable and money is the depend independent variable with t minus i lag period and consumption is another independent variable with t minus i lag period and u1 and u2 are the error term u1 and u2 are actually called error term or we can also call it innovation or we can also call it impulses u1 and u2 also called impulses or innovations or shock so it has three names innovations or impulses 
or shock 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 okay so the whole thing is vector autoregressive model uh, so what is happening here what is happening here a change in e e1 will bring a change in money and it will change consumption and also money during the next period what does it means that means if there is a change in e1 what does it mean by change a shock if there is a shock in e1 so this shock or change will affect money supply so you can see money here money means money supply so this money this variable is already here right so this variable already here so this one this money lack this money lack period will affect consumption and this consumption already here right and this consumption ultimately affect money supply so what does mean I am telling again if there is a shock or change in e1 what is called e1 e1 is the is the impulses or innovations or shock so if there is a shock in e1 that will affect money and money will affect consumption and consumption will affect again money so that means a change in e1 will affect the whole war system in the similar way if a shock is given in e2 this shock will affect consumption and you see that consumption is also here right this consumption will affect money supply and you can see money supply is also here so this one will ultimately affect consumptions so so meaning that a shock in u2 will affect the whole war system and finally this u2 will affect consumptions okay and in this example problem what is our target our target how the money supply affect consumptions or or whether consumption affect money supply that we want to check whether money supply can affect consumption or consumption can affect money supply for how long how long money supply can affect consumption or how long consumption can affect money supply or in what manner in what manner money supply can affect consumption and consumption can affect money supply if there is a shock in e1 and u2 that we have to check today So, so we give a shock to the innovation or residual 
that is on u1 and u2 of the above var model to see how it affects the whole var system okay i am saying again so we give a shock to the innovation or residual that is on u1 and u2 of the above var model to see how it affects the whole var system model okay but for calculating the impulse response the ordering of the variable is important that means how to ordering the variables that is very important many methods are given for ordering but here we have chosen Cholesky's adjusted method as given in eViews. So here we shall be using Cholesky's adjusted model as given in eViews for setting the ordering of the variables. And in our problem, we have only two variables. They are money supply and consumptions. Okay, what we have done here, here we have given a positive shock of one standard deviation to U1 and U2 in the above VAR model to see the reaction of the variables I'm saying again what we have done here we have given a sh positive shock of one standard deviation to u1 and u2 in the above var model to see the reactions of the variables meaning that what we have done here we have done one standard deviation shock one standard deviation positive shock to u1 to see how it reacts to variables or in other way we have also given shock one standard deviation shock to u2 here to check how the consumptions and money react to each other how they react to each other so that we want to check after giving one standard deviation shock that uh, that is our plan to check finally then we can apply this impulse response in both var var means uh, that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm telling again we can apply this impulse response in both var that means uh, that means unrestricted var and VCM which is restricted var to see the reaction of all variables that means uh, we can apply this impulse response in both restricted var and unrestricted var to check the reaction of all variables and here we have assumed that all the variables are endogenous that means 
our money supply and consumptions both are endogenous or actually what is our target our target uh, if there is a shock one standard deviation shock in in e1 or one standard deviation shock in u2 how the variables are reacting to each other in what manner they are reacting to each other that we shall be uh, we shall be uh, discussing today using e views